mama is a young soybeans just picked up in a young age in japan we can get fresh edamame during the summertime uh, but in australia uh, we can get only the frozen one one with pot and one is a mukimi which is a shelled edamame um, i'm gonna open here so you see this is um, with pot and this is the shelled so you can choose um you know either the with pot or shelled uh, depending on the recipe for example uh, in my cookbook um i have um wasabi edamame or garlic butter edamame um i use in whole because it's nice to eat from the, uh, the pot and also that i have uh, edamame dip or soup and um, you know those things that the, you need to take out from this uh, the pot uh, i use a shelled edamame that's much much easier to buy this one and take off from the pot so that it's a time saver we obviously want to defrost it right um these two are basically parboiled and freezed so basically it's already cooked so what we want to do is that uh, you know defrost it you can thaw in the uh, fridge that's okay but for me that uh, i don't like to smell of the freezer burn so even i defrost it uh, you know slowly in the fridge i always wash um i show you the very two easy way to um quickly use the frozen edamame one you can simply put in the bowl and pour the uh, hot boiling water in this way um, you can defrost and also that um, get rid of the uh, kind of freezer kind of smell so leave for five minutes or a little bit longer and uh, rinse with water the another way of doing that is boiling in the pot So this is the boiling water and just simply I put kind of lumpy thing here. So good way to judge when it is ready is that uh, at the moment, as you can see that uh, the edamame is on the bottom, but when it's ready, it's rise onto the surface. That means it's ready. So i have been boiling for now five minutes or so now as you can see the edamame is on the surface you see this one it's now on the surface which means it's truly truly ready but doesn't need to be everything on the surface for the for example if you're making the salad or something you just want to add it to it you don't need to wait the edamame is on the surface but if you want to um, make sure that you want to have a good texture creamy smooth texture it's better to wait until the edamame is on the surface so I just simply turn off the heat and I just drain here so now um, it's ready to use it's always good to uh, put some cold running water to um, you know keep the nice color otherwise if you leave it too long that the color will be um, a little bit uh, darker so if you want to keep the good color always good to uh, put the running water and so it's ready to use